So the difference between Earth physics and solar physics really is uh, not much. They are actually uh, combined. It's a whole system. So the Earth uh, receives light from the sun, the star that I study, and that affects everything that we do on Earth. So the things that you learn about in Earth science are things like oceans or waves or winds, and those are all things that are influenced by, uh, by the sun. The Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory is part of the Smithsonian Institution. The Smithsonian Institution's mission is to increase and diffuse knowledge. So you know all about the museums on the mall, and that's where you diffuse the knowledge. And we're one of the nine research centers that actually increases the knowledge or is, is studying the universe. So we're going to be the fastest uh, uh, man-made object ever, so 430,000 miles per the Parker Solar Probe is NASA's mission to touch the sun. So this spacecraft is just a record breaker. It was launched on August 12th, 2018, and it has become the fastest human-made object and actually the closest human-made object to the sun. So what we hope to learn in this probe is how the sun basically throws temper tantrums. So we're trying to understand why the sun gets angry and does these flares and these coronal mass ejections, which are the equivalent of 80 million school buses being hurled at us at millions of miles an hour. And that could damage life on Earth. We're so dependent these days on technology, on your cell phone, on GPS, um, on electricity, that if one of these were to hit at the wrong time, it would shut down the power grids for months. It could um, damage astronauts or damage satellites and, and knock out GPS. So these are all things that we hope to learn is to better predict them because there are ways to make us safe from all of those things, but we just need the advance warning. The role of the Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory and myself um, and my colleagues was to actually do the Faraday Cup. So this uh, solar probe cup sticks around the heat shield where all the other um, instruments are protected from the heat of the sun and that part actually looks up and samples the solar wind directly or that wind and atmosphere that's coming off. And that is the coolest part and the part that I've worked on for the last 10 years. I have experienced failure and failure is definitely part of the job. There have been multiple proposals that you, you, you ask for money and you say that this is a project I want to do and you're turned down. Um, a lot of then what you do is you persist, is you constantly say, okay, what can I do better next time? Is this something that I'm passionate enough about that I'm going to try again? Or is this something that maybe I need to change directions? Maybe this isn't, you know, isn't what I want to do. Um, and so you just keep at it and you're, you're persistent.